Next, let's move on to the next scenario. Uh, in this scenario, I will show uh, how does this stock item maintenance, all right? As you can see, uh, our construction materials. Remember, in previous video, earlier video, I have shown that you will have to take this mass generated e invoice if the item is compulsory to issue e invoice. So let's say today I'm selling construction materials to a certain buyer, customer. So I create a new invoice. Let's say I choose a customer. So as you can see over here, the TIN number does not appear, means I had not collected the TIN information from this uh, customer. So uh, I will build them some sand and some stone, for example. This is just a example. Huh? And I probably have some uh, delivery, delivery fees. Okay, let's say uh, this is uh, 20 ringgit. So I approve the invoice and you will see the a message will appear. Document consists item stone, sand that must generate e-invoice. Does not allow to consolidate e-invoice. So you are forced to get the customer information uh, before you can build this customer. So what can I do is uh, I'll just close this form again and let's go to our chapter maintenance. So imagine I already uh, get their information, uh, right? I created their tax entity. So I just uh, select the tax entity for this customer and I'll go back to my invoice again. So I choose back the same customer I build the same item again, okay, and the uh, delivery fee, okay, and I approve. So this time it will be able to save, and we shall wait for the e invoice to get validated. Okay, it's validated. So moving back to our my invoice portal, and you can see the e invoice is generated and uh, in your my invoice portal so that is one of the uh, function of how you can you make use of this stock item maintenance uh, the mass generate e-invoice uh, properties this function so you can control where which item you must uh, generate e invoice so that the guy or the person the agent that generate this e-invoice does not uh, accidentally uh, set up, I mean, uh, consolidate the invoice if it's a buyer that does, is not a, is someone that does not require your e-invoice. So in short, uh, this able to help you to make sure that things that does not go wrong, right? So that is how can you make use of our uh, function called must generate e-invoice.